The purpose of this video is to show you how in Odoo's version 14, you can process returns and issue uh, debit notes to customers. So let's start with the purchase order. We can buy from uh, Azure a specific product. We'll buy the whiteboard pen. We'll buy two units at $500 each. No taxes to keep it simple. Confirm the order. Execute the delivery. Ship the two units. Okay. We've received them. It's not a delivery. I'm sorry. Execute the receipt. Now that we've purchased these two units, let's return them. So you can see we can go right to the inventory record here for Azure. Same one, warehouse in number seven. And I can click return up here. But before I do that, let's take a look at the actual, let's go to the purchase order and go through this way. So two quantity ordered, two received, zero build. Let's actually create the bill, confirm it, and that posted the journal entries, right? So we debited expenses and credited accounts payable. Now you can see quantity ordered to, received to, billed to. Now let's say that we want to issue a refund, or I should say we want to re request a refund. Note up here that there's no option to do so, but if I go to receipt and I click return, let's say I, one of them I only want to get a refund for. I click return and that actually generates, right, the shipment of the warehouse, the warehouse out order. So I'm going to ship back to Azure the whiteboard pen and I click validate and apply. And in this case, it ships it out. Marks it is done. When I go back to purchase order 14, note that one, two quantity ordered, one received, two billed. And I can see here when that happened. And now if I want to, uh, I can see up here, create the bill. It's asking me to create a bill. And this is a reverse bill, return bill. And you'll see the journal item for the one unit of the whiteboard pen and we're going to credit expenses and debit accounts payable, the inverse, and post it. And then I can register my payment here. And that's done. And now you'll see the payment, of course, the corresponding journal entries here. Outstanding receipts, accounts payable. So that's how it would work in Odoo. If you have any questions, let me know.